Hi, it's Judy and welcome to another video. So today I have a very, very exciting announcement. So I am filming this extremely late. It is what it is. We're here. We're doing it now. So you may have seen this on Twitter or I might have mentioned it in another video, but I will be hosting a readathon along with some other booktubers called Vampathon. <laughs> So I'm super, super excited. So this readathon will be taking place at the very, very end of October. But I have never hosted a readathon before and I have always kind of wanted to. I don't think I've even taken part in one really before. So I am totally new to this and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think this is going to be a really, really fun readathon. So I was kind of toying with the idea and then I was speaking to some of my friends on Booktube and we decided to do a vampathon. So I will be hosting Vampathon along with Mika, Mayana and Kay. I will link all their channels down below but I'm sure you're already pretty familiar with them. And we will be hosting the readathon from Monday the 26th of October to Saturday the 31st of October. It's only five days long and it is a really easy, flexible readathon. This readathon will have a bingo board where you can go ahead and choose prompts from there and try and get bingo. You can just choose prompts, whatever ones you want to do. And the good thing about this readathon is that you can kind of fit this around your current TBR already. So it's really flexible, it's really easy to get books in there that are already on your TBR and books that you might not usually read or weren't planning to. I know this is sort of last minute, but this is basically just a no pressure readathon. And I'm just really, really excited. I can't wait. So I will explain some of the details of it. So a vampathon is obviously inspired by all things of vampire, but it isn't just about vampires. Now, some of the prompts are centered around vampires, but there are also gonna be prompts that are just kind of creepy, supernatural general prompts. So this can kind of be and more inclusive for everyone even if you don't really like vampire books and that sort of thing. So we've actually set up a Twitter account where you can find loads of information there on and um, we're not very active on it because we're all rubbish with it um, but I will show you it now. So this is the Twitter account just here so I will have it linked down below if you do want to go and follow it and get some updates and information. But I do want to mention that the bingo board we use, we use a template from Ali, the hardback order I think is her name. Thank you so much Ali for letting us use it um, but this is our bingo board here. I will have this linked down below and I will also post this on the community page on my YouTube channel. But this is our bingo board. I don't think I know how to put it up next to my face. I'm not that good at editing yet. <laughs> if I have figured it out, then it will be next to me here. If not, then it will be linked below. But I'm gonna talk through some of the prompts. So, but all together there are 16 prompts in total. Now you can choose 10 prompts to do, you can choose one prompt to do, you can choose whatever you like to do, or you can do the bingo. So bingo basically means that you have to choose them and get a bingo across. It can be diagonal, it can be whatever you like. For your prompts to choose and pick your books um, around those prompts. So we have also compiled a list of books on Goodreads. Obviously there's gonna be books missing from there, but we've just made a quick little list on Goodreads where you can go for some inspiration and ideas of maybe books to read that are vampire or vampirish or supernaturalish that kind of thing. So I'll also have that linked down below. I will also be including my Vampathon TBR at the end of this video, so that will also give you some ideas. So I will quickly talk through a few books now for certain prompts. I'm not going to give a recommendation for every single prompt because I'd be here all day, but you can head to that reading list and I'm sure you'll be able to figure some out yourself because these are all fairly easy. Let's just get into it. First prompt is a book where the vampire is the main character. So for this one, I will recommend a book and that is Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. So this is just a classic vampire tale and this basically follows a vampire and his challenges and the things he faces throughout his life with being a vampire. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will already be familiar with this book because it is obviously a really famous movie as well as a book. And this is kind of one of those OG vampire books like Take Away Dracula and this is kind of like a classic vampire book. I've never read any Anne Rice myself. This would be a great pick for a vampire main character but obviously there are so many other ones you could choose like Midnight Sun and Vampire Diaries and all those sorts of things. 
um, but this is my recommendation for this prompt. Then we have Vampires Set in a Victorian Era, which I just think is a really, really kind of niche prompt. And I just thought this would be a really fun one because obviously people can maybe find some vampire books that they've not necessarily thought of before and things like that. And I just think it's fun. I love anything that's gothic and the Victorian era and books written in that era are quite often very, very gothic literature. And I just think that's so fun and like the perfect like creepiness to be reading right now. Then next we have a supernatural creature on the cover. So this can be any supernatural creature. It doesn't have to be a vampire. It can be whatever you like it to be. So you have free reign with this one. Another similar prompt is a vampire aesthetic cover. So this can be a cover that is maybe a bit gothic looking. It's maybe got red on it or something or blood or just anything that's vampirish. But again, this is another one that makes this very, very flexible because you can find a book that's not necessarily about vampires, but looks like gothic and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, I really, really like this prompt because I think it'll be a good one for people who don't like to read vampire books but want to join in with this reader one. So the next prompt is a book where a vampire isn't the main character but vampires exist in it. So you could have Twilight because it is from Bella's perspective. But my pick for this one is The Beautiful by Renee Adier. So I recently read this book and I absolutely adored it. This was one of my favourite books I've read this year. This is unbelievably perfect for this prompt. I highly recommend this book. It is so gothic and rich and just atmospheric and creepy. And the main character isn't a vampire. Vampires do exist within this book and play a huge part in the plot. So I definitely think this one's a really, really good pick for this readathon. And I just adore this book. And yeah. So the next prompt is a vampire graphic novel or manga. So the main character doesn't have to be a vampire. It can just include vampires. And this is just a really fun prompt because not everyone likes to read books. Some people just like to read manga and graphic novels. So this is obviously a really fun one. And this will also help people to kind of squeeze in maybe an extra read or two throughout the readathon. So I have quite a few I'm probably going to add to my TBR. I'm going to mention two now. One of these I've already spoken about in a vlog and another video. But this is a vampire night. And this is obviously self-explanatory because the word vampire is in the title. And get that kind of is very much centered around vampires then another one is another quite obvious one um so i have the twilight graphic novel this is obviously the graphic novel adaptation of the book by stephanie meyer and i haven't read this myself yet but it's self-explanatory again it is literally twilight in graphic novel form so yeah some vampire books do have a graphic novel version of them so you can find dracula as a graphic novel if you want to read the classic but you don't want to actually sit and read the book then the graphic novels are a really good way of obviously getting through the story Story. So the next prompt is a book that includes a romance between a vampire and another supernatural character. My pick for this is obviously going to be A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I freaking love this book. I'm almost finished it because I've been currently reading it. I'm probably going to finish it before the readathon because I was going to choose this as one of my prompts. But yeah, I think I'll probably finish it. So if I start reading the second book, then obviously that will also cover this prompt. But this is just a really good pick for this. If you have not read this book, I you need to this is fantasy and magic witches vampires demons love everything i just i love this book so much i adore it and i can't recommend it enough this would be a really good pick for this because obviously our main character is a witch who's called diana and then her love interest is a vampire called matthew so this is a really perfect pick for this but again you can find more ideas in our goodreads list so the next prompt is a book that has blood on the cover so i don't actually own a book that specifically has blood on the cover as far as i know i mean i probably do but i've got that many books i couldn't figure out which but my recommendation for this one would be blood air so this is a fantasy book and i just say this is kind of blood so this again kind of gives you free reign you could go for a thriller or a crime book with this one anything that has blood on the cover the next prompt is one that will delight a lot of big vampire lovers because i feel like everyone who loves vampire books kind of loves this series and a lot of people have read this i am not one of them i am going to be reading this vampire now so the next prompt is a vampires set in a school so for this one i'm choosing a vampire academy so this is just the most like obvious choice ever yeah i haven't read this Everyone loves this book. I haven't read it. I'm going to be reading it. But this is just a really obvious one. It is set in a school. I'm sure Twilight, again, set in a school kind of. There's a lot of vampire books. Next up, we have a vampire book that is a movie as well. So obviously, Twilight. You can have Twilight, you can have Interview with the Vampire, you can have Vampire Academy. There's so many you could have with this. But Twilight is the obvious choice for this one. Really, really easy. Or Midnight Sun, whatever you want to read. 
But yeah, I thought this would be a really fun one as well because obviously you can watch the movie during this readathon and read the book, which is really fun. The next up is a middle grade book with vampires in. So this is a nice fun one. It's usually a quick read for middle grade and it might be like an additional one you can squeeze in. Or if you're someone who really enjoys middle grade, then obviously this one is for you. But my pick will be Amelia Fang so cute i love this and i love squashy the pet pumpkin and amelia fang is obviously a little vampire and this is just a really cute series so i think i'm going to be binging the whole series during vampathon and i can't wait i've read this one already and i loved it so cute but there are so many middle grades out there with vampires in that you can read so yeah this is just a really fun prompt to add in and i'm definitely definitely going to be choosing this prompt for the vampathon next prompt is a main character that is then bitten by a vampire so obviously you could have bella swan in breaking dawn and things like that i can't really think of any other ones off the top of my head but they are on the reading list so yeah really really fun prompt you can kind of do whatever you want with that one then next we have a prompt that is kind of more supernaturally so this is blood used as magic so for this one i think blood air kind of falls into that category and also serpent and dove as well this one kind of gives you more freedom to choose books that aren't necessarily vampy but are like supernaturally creepy you know fun so this one just gives you a bit more free reign with your tbr so you can maybe squeeze some other books in as well then we have a book where the vampire is the best friend and not the main character so for this one you could have the mortal instrument series by cassandra clare because we have simon the vampy best friend in here lastly we have vampires set in modern times so again there's so many you could go with for this one as well so i think that's pretty much all of the prompts i'm sorry if this isn't the best way to talk about them and give recommendations but again i will have the reading list linked down below along with the twitter account and some other things as well it's a book i will mention now as well that'd be good for this readathon because i didn't even know it was vampires until someone told me recently so i don't know if this will make it into my vampathon tbr but i just want to mention it from blood and ash because this has vampires in everyone loves this book at the moment so if you're wanting to read this or planning to then this will fit perfectly for vampathon as well i just wanted to mention it yes, for vampathon i am going to be choosing my own prompts rather than doing the bingo um just because i want to and some of my tbr will fit nicely with it so yay so if you want to hear what is on my vampathon tbr then please continue watching because i'm going to talk about the ones that i plan to read this might change i might add stuff i might take stuff out i don't know and i probably won't read all of this but i'm going to try i will be vlogging hopefully every single day and doing daily vlogs for vampathon so hopefully i can actually get quite a lot read but this is going to be my vampathon tbr so my first prompt that i am choosing will be a book where the main character is a vampire so for this one i'm choosing interview with a vampire i'm going to be listening to this on audio i think and this is just the perfect one because obviously our main character in here is a vampire this follows his life and how he has dealt with being a vampire and what has happened with him being a vampire and i'm just really really excited to read this because it is a classic that i haven't read and i really want to i like my vampire books so the fact that i haven't read this is kind of bad i haven't seen the movie either so i'm going to be watching the film once i've read the book really excited for this one then i will also be choosing the prompt of a graphic novel or manga that has vampires in so i've already told you guys that i will be reading this one but i will be reading a vampire night as my manga and as my graphic novel i have chosen anita blake of vampire hunter guilty pleasures so this is volume one i randomly came across this and i just think it sounds so cool i've spoken about this in a recent video as well this is set in st louis and we have lots of vampires turning up dead and no one really knows what's going on so the police want anita to help figure out who the killer is but then the vampires themselves also request the help of the vampire hunter which i think is a really interesting dynamic and i'm just really really excited to see how this plays out we've got vampires and werewolves in here and i just think this is going to be such a fun read and i'm very excited to get to this one so my next prompt that i am going to be picking will be a book where the main character isn't a vampire but obviously vampires exist in the book and i will be choosing the damned by Rene Adier. so this is on my tbr and i've been saving it until the end of the month for vampathon because i recently read the beautiful as i said before and this is the sequel and i'm so so excited to read this and see what happens i'm just so excited for this book but the main character in here is called celine and she isn't a vampire that's not a spoiler it's quite evident in the synopsis of the first book that she is not a vampire really really excited for this one because i've been wanting to read it since i finished the beautiful so another prompt that i will be choosing is the vampire middle grade so i'm going to be reading amelia fang i only have two at the moment but i'm going to be picking up the rest of the series and i'm going to be reading all of these 
so I think there's six books so I plan to read all six if I can and I'm really excited because I loved the first book it was so cute and I love squashy so I'm very very excited to read the rest of the books in the series I will also be choosing the prompt vampires are set in a school so I will be reading vampire academy for the first time I'm so excited I can't wait to read this because everyone loves this book and I just I'm here for this like cheesy YA vampy kind of story so I can't wait to get to this one so the next prompt I will be choosing is a vampire book set in the Victorian era. So I will be choosing Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco for this one. I've been meaning to pick up this book for so long because I loved Southern Jack the Ripper. I read it like four years ago or three years ago, close to when it very first came out and I adored it. And I just haven't gotten to this one. Obviously in this one we have Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell going to a Romanian castle where Vlad the Impaler, um, aka Dracula, lived and she's going there to this prestigious medical school and loads of bodies turn up dead and there's this rumour that Dracula could be back and her and Thomas Cresswell have to solve it and see what's going on. So I'm really, really excited for this one because I loved Carrie Maniscalco's first book. I loved her writing and I just can't wait to read this. I love anything set in the Victorian era because it's always very gothic and I just think this is going to be so fun and I'm just so excited. And that is pretty much all of the books on my Vampathon TBR. There are a few I'm kind of eyeing up maybe adding to it but I'm not sure. I might start from Blood and Ash at some point in there because I really want to get to this because everyone says if you're a fan of Sarah J Mass you will like this book and this has obviously got vampires in here and it's a bit saucy apparently and I'm just here for that but I don't know it's a big book so I'm trying to be realistic but I'm so excited for my Vampathon TBR. I really hope I can get through as many of these as possible but although I don't know if I definitely will we'll see how it goes but I will be daily vlogging hopefully if nothing changes because I've got some things going on in my personal life right now so depending on those things and how I'm feeling that week I should hopefully be doing daily vlogs every single day of Vampathon and I have some very exciting things planned like going to a pumpkin patch and baking Halloween vampy cakes and all little cool things like that. I have a lot of exciting things planned so if I don't daily vlog I will of course do a weekly Vampathon vlog and it will be really fun and yeah it's so exciting because this readathon ends on Halloween which I love so I will be doing loads of spooky things then. I love Halloween. It's my favourite time of year. But yeah I am so so excited. I can't wait and Vampathon will be so much fun. So just to kind of recap, it is five days long, there's no pressure, it's totally flexible. You can do the book bingo board, you can choose your own prompts and you can make this fit around your current TBR. And yeah, I really do hope you guys will be joining in. Definitely follow our Twitter page for more information and to keep up to date and stuff. And please do comment down below if you're going to be joining because I'd love to know who's joining in and what you plan on reading. We will also be doing a photo challenge on Instagram. So that will be tweeted and I will talk about that on my Instagram and whatnot closer to the time. But yeah, I will have all the relevant information and the link to the bingo board and whatnot linked down below in the description box. And I just really, really hope you guys join in. This is my first kind of a readathon hosting thing and I'm so excited. And to be doing it with Amika, Mayana and Kay is just amazing because I love their booktube channel. So they are some of my favourite booktubers and some of my favourite people that I've met through booktube. And if you're obviously not subscribed to them, then please go ahead and subscribe to them because their content is just it's top tier and yeah I love them so much hopefully I can do this yearly as well which would be really nice but yeah I think that kind of concludes everything I hope this was kind of easy to understand I have not done one of these announcement videos before or a readathon so I've tried to explain as best I can but again for ideas of books to read I will have the goodreads list linked below as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway and maybe you guys can join in with this next time I will just follow along and see how Vampathon goes but yeah, I hope you guys are all well and safe and reading lots of good books and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!